Yo, what is poppin' people, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Out of Order. Welcome back to a brand new After Effects video, guys. Uh, this is a different type of video. Hey, it's still gonna be a banger, but uh, in this video, we're gonna be doing a plugin review slash comparison. So we're gonna be comparing different lens blur plugins. So I got um Crossfire Bokeh, Fast Camera Lens Blur, BCC Lens Blur, uh, Robite Fast Bokeh, and Camera Lens Blur. We're gonna be comparing all of these different effects together. So yeah, let's get right into to the video okay so this is gonna be the same as usual i got my usual clips i got the green screen clip i got the world clip and of course we got a depth clip now if you don't know how to get these you can only get them in certain games which is why i'm doing bo2 for example but uh we also got a color correction applied it's nothing too crazy just a basic color correction and we got a minimum rsmb applied like a very very small amount of rsmb applied and uh, yeah, that's basically the clips we're going to be reviewing. So this is what it looks like by default without any bokeh blurs or any camera lens blurs. Um, I want you to pay attention to a few things on this. So the first thing I want you to pay attention to is these particles back here in the background. You guys see these particles because a lot of the plugins affect them differently. So we're going to be reviewing and comparing the, the differences between them. But yeah, just keep an eye on these particles throughout the whole clip because they will be affected differently. And it's really cool to see the similarities and differences. Um, also, you can kind of see the little minimum RSMB I applied here. You can see there's kind of some motion blur. But uh, yeah, let's get right into the first um, camera lens blur. So the first camera lens blur we're going to be looking at is Crossfire's Bokeh plugin. Now this is on AE Scripts, and in my opinion, this is one of the best Bokeh plugins there is out there. Honestly, I love this plugin so much. A lot of editors don't really know about this since this is an AE Scripts plugin, but it is super good. As you guys can see, the particles in the background are affected really nicely. You can see there's some subtle Bokeh blurs. Um, you can see the little dots there. You can see how the highlights are affected and the shadows are affected. And there's not too much contrast because some of them will add contrast like unnecessary like... Um, I guess you could say um, synthetic contrast, like it's not really on the main clip. I don't know if that's the right word to use for it. Just like artificial contrast, basically. I and mean, this plugin does a really good job on doing the bokeh blurs without like overdoing it or making it look super artificial. But uh, yeah, I really love this effect. This is probably my favorite one out of them all, but we'll be comparing them all. And uh, there's still good ones in this. So yeah, let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next effect we got here is fast camera lens blur. This is another plugin. Um, and I really like this one too. This one is said to be up to three times faster than After Effects normal camera lens board, which is pretty nice because, you know, you want it to be fast. But um, I actually really like this one a lot because I think this one, I don't know, I think this one looks the most realistic in my opinion. Um, you can adjust the settings. It's got a ton of customizable settings. It's really good. It also affects the particles at the end really well too because as you can see, the particles are slightly blurred. And this text right here, this like sign right here, this glowing sign is really well blurred. As you can see, it's got some nice bokeh dots. But yeah, that's fast camera lens blur. I really like this one too. And now let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the next one we got is probably the most popular camera lens blur plugin and it's probably the most overused and that is BCC lens blur. Now BCC lens blur is different from the other ones because I think it is the most customizable. Um, it's got the most settings. It's got some crazy stuff you can do. You can change the shape of the bokehs. You can change all sorts of stuff and it's really nice. I'm not gonna lie, this is a really good one too. Um, as you can see, the neon sign is pretty well blurred. Um, you got the particles and the ash over there, the little smoke from the volcano in the background, which I think looks pretty sick. And yeah, that's BCC Lens Blur. Now next up, we got Robite's Fast Bokeh. Um, this is another plugin, and this one I honestly don't really like at all if i'm being honest i well the one cool thing about this is that it does support depth map in the plugin like it's built into the plugin like you can just select your depth layer and uh yeah it, do, it works off of that which i think works um better than just doing like the you know the luma mat and stuff but in my opinion this blur just really lacks like it definitely lacks settings and it lacks features and a ton of other stuff but in my opinion even even though it lacks those features it still just looks pretty awful like as you can see those ash the little flares and the ash and stuff aren't there you can't notice them and then the sign just looks really weak as you can see the sign is super weak i don't know why it looks like that 
In my opinion, this isn't really a good effect. I mean, some people might find use of it, but me personally, I'd probably never use this effect. So I don't recommend Robite's fast bokeh. It might be fast, all right? It has fast in its name, so it might be fast, but personally, I wouldn't use this effect. And the last effect we're going to be looking at is good old camera lens blur, After Effects built-in lens blur. In my opinion, camera lens blur isn't actually that terrible. I mean, it's a little slow compared to fast camera lens blur, but other than that, I actually kind of like it too. I mean, the the little the little um I don't even know what they called embers. The embers don't even show up in the bokeh, and the sign kind of still looks a little weak. But uh, there are some embers right here. As you can see, there are a little bit of embers. Not the main ones, all right? When, we're, when we got this shot over here, you can't really see the embers. You can see the little highlight there. I adjusted the highlight. I tried to make all of the blurs look similar. Like, I tried to get the settings to look similar to each other. So, like, you know, it's more easier to compare. But, um, yeah, camera lens blur, it doesn't really, it's not something to slack on, all right? Camera lens blur deserves some respect, all right? I think this plugin, it's a, it's, it's pretty decent, all right? It gets the job done. It's like, it's a camera lens blur effect, you know? You can also use depth map built into the effect as well, which is pretty nice. But yeah, that's camera lens blur. Okay, so now that we compared the effects, I think it's time we actually rank these. So I guess we'll rank from um, worst to best. So in my, opi my opinion, I think the worst one is definitely Robite's fast bokeh. I mean, I really played around with these settings. Like, like dead ass, I actually tried to make this look good. And in my opinion, I just, I just couldn't get those embers to show up without like, I mean, I kind of like the blur on how it overlaps with your main clip. Like as you can see right here, because it's using a depth map, but I still think this plugin is just, nah, it's not that good if I'm being honest. Now coming in fourth place, I'd say would be camera lens blur with After Effects default camera lens blur. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is the default effect, so like I know there's gonna be people that are like, never use default effects, but like, I mean, it's not the worst effect, it's not that good, but like, it's not, th it's just decent, all right? That's the best way to describe it. Third place would be BCC Lens Blur. I think BCC Lens Blur deserves most of its hype, all right? There's a lot of hype around it. Um, it's definitely one of the most commonly used Lens Blur effects. Like, the only thing is if you mess up the settings, you can like clearly tell it's BCC Lens Blur and it doesn't really look that good. But other than that, I actually really like it, so I give it third place. Second place is fast camera lens blur. I really love this effect. I started using it a bunch more. It's actually really fast. I mean, that's why it's in its name. It's 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 fast, you know. But um, I mean, this effect has a ton of settings. You can get the bokeh looking really nice, and it picks up the embers at the end, which I really like too. I mean, I wanted those embers to show. I mean, you could just like do some like really weird like mocha masking if you wanted the embers to really show, or you could just like you could probably just like even track like little bokeh dots, you know. But I don't know why you would do that. But anyway, yeah, fast camera lens board deserves second place. I think it's a great plugin. You should definitely check it out. And coming in first place, we have Crossfire Bokeh. Now, Crossfire Bokeh. Now, Crossfire Bokeh is an insane effect. All right, I highly recommend this one over all of them. This one just looks the best, in my opinion. It, you can make it look realistic or like non realistic. It has so many settings in it. It's super customizable. And in my opinion, it shows the embers the best out of all the effects. I mean, just look at those embers. And then the sign too, it does a really great job of showing off the sign. I mean, I really love this blur effect. You can't go wrong with this effect, all right? If you want the best bokeh lens blur, in my opinion, I think Crosshair Bokeh is definitely the best one. I mean, it just does an outstanding job, all right? And that's gonna be the video, guys. I know it's not too long of a video and it's not a tutorial, but I just wanted to do a basic plugin review and comparison. So let me know what you guys think. Drop a like, comment down below what other videos I should make i'm gonna be making a lot more after effects videos so yeah subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one guys peace